lecturers here at Darlington College. My responsibility is for uh, teaching machining techniques, the manufacturing techniques, and as you can see around you at the moment, these are some of the machines that we use. We have lathes, we have milling machines, we have hand fitting benches. We at Darlington College deliver level one, two, and three courses um, in engineering, mainly diplomas, um, as well as doing apprenticeships. We feel that it is key for uh, all students to learn um, basic machining skills, basic hand fitting skills in preparation for their future careers. We work closely with awarding bodies, national awarding bodies, such as EAL, City and Guilds, um, and EdXL. We're always encouraging st um, students to progress um, and work closely with Teesside University in um, hopefully making sure that they go through to uh, a degree level in the future. As I say, we work closely with uh, awarding bodies such as EAL, City and Guilds and EdXL. And the one thing that we encourage more than anything else is to develop hand skills such as filing, drilling, cutting, um, or really to prepare them for the future in an engineering career. Hello, my name is Ian Fox. I'm one of the specialist engineering assessors here at Darlington College. Uh, it's my role in the college to assist apprentices within the workplace assessing their competence-based part of their apprenticeship. So as long as alongside the theory part within the college, there is a competence part that needs to be done within the company, which is where the assessors come in to assist with that. Uh, at Darling College, we offer apprenticeships in electrical, mechanical engineering. Uh, we offer apprenticeships in tech support with things such as engineering design and business development techniques. We also offer machining such as manual and CNC machining. A lot of the qualifications on this side are run through EEL, who are a nationally recognised company. A standard length of our apprenticeships tend to be between three and four years based on how quick you progress. My key role with, within the college is to come out to your workplace and liaise with both the apprentice and the employer to ensure that we are assessing competence-based learning in the workplace. This includes me coming out every five to six weeks to come and visit the workplace and see what the student is doing hands-on within their role. Hello, my name is Jason Bertie. I'm one of the senior engineering lecturers here at Darlington College. I'm going to talk a little about the Engineering Operations Level 2 course that Graham touched on. What we offer to you guys, we offer basically um, health and safety. So how you're safe in the college and both with the employer in the workplace for the future. We offer engineering principles. Engineering principles are very, very important. How we communicate as engineers and also how we um, draw and interpret technical drawings, which is very, very, very important, obviously, in the sector of engineering. And then fabrication um, print welding principles. What do we do on that? We do quite a fair bit to prefer. We do a lot of sheet metal work, uh, construct obviously cones, um, toolboxes. We do a lot of obviously welding, positional welding, which obviously help you out in the workplace. We've also got a new uh, module that's coming through, which is um, science and um, obviously engineering mathematics level two. Uh, the science, obviously principles, will look at the atomic structure, how different types of materials react. So all in all, quite a, a developed and a fundamental course, which I think um, you'll all enjoy uh, if you obviously want to come onto the course. So thank you.